Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Philosophy, which is an abstract puzzly tile laying kind of game about two friends having a conversation. You each propose ideas represented by these tiles and the aim of the game is to reach a conclusion by having three of your tiles in a row. As you might have guessed from all of the arrows though, these tiles are going to be moving around a lot. This is on Game Found right now from Quality Beast, who you may know as publishers of Seize the Beam. Philosophy is designed by Galen Goodwick and the base game is a two player experience, but you can get a pack to add a third player in here. Before we get started, I recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles. Any mistakes I make will be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. And helping me in today's playthrough, Little Glass Martin. Where would we be without him? Now, on your turn, you will place an idea tile in this three by three square in the middle of the board. Only restriction for the very first tile, can't go right in the middle. So I'm going to place an idea. This is the conversation starter. I'm going to pop it down there. Now, it doesn't do anything else because it's the only tile on the board. But there are two main bits of information on a tile. This arrow here is the targeting arrow. If this was pointing to one of Marty's tiles, it would do something to it. What would it do? That's shown in the middle of the tile here. If Marty had already played a tile that mine was pointing at, it would move it diagonally in that direction. And this can help us get rid of other players' tiles out of the way, especially because if there's a line of tiles, they all move in a big row. So if there was a big line of diagonals, they would all shift out of the way. It can get you tiles back because if you don't have any tiles to play on your turn, you lose, you get them back if they fall off the board. And shifting tiles might give you the three in a row configuration you need to win the game. For a conversation starter though, my first play, I'm just going to pop that down. Marty's going to play an idea tile. He can go in the middle now. It's only the very first turn where nobody can. So his tile is targeting mine, which means he moves it one space this away. Now at the start of the game, there's not many tiles, very small movements, but later on, you can be moving a ton of things all stacked together and making big chain reactions. I don't mind that too much. I could just uh, move Marty's out of the way here and be gearing up for a three in a row right here. I could win the game. Of course, Marty's not gonna let it be that simple for me. He could use his toss tile here. So targeting my tile, this actually, takes the tile that it's targeting and tosses it over the top of Marty's tile. So not only has he got two in a row now, he's broken up mine. We do keep checking afterwards. The tiles that have just moved, can they form a chain reaction? Has Marty moved one of my tiles into the targeting range of another one of his existing tiles? By pushing a stack or rephrasing, which is this special tile here, we'll see no doubt, uh, has he put another one of his tiles facing another one of my tiles that could chain react? I think let's get rid of Marty's tile there. Let's just move that diagonally down with a nice pull. Here I can show you the rephrase tile. Now this is a special one because usually your tiles all target opponent tiles. They don't do anything if they're facing your own tiles, but the rephrase tile is special. You can aim this at your opponent's or one of your own tiles and it rotates that tile. It doesn't move it, but for the purposes of has something moved in checking a reaction, it has. So it's pointing at Marty's tile here. He can rotate his toss tile. It's just moved for the purposes of reactions when it's now facing one of my tiles again, which gets tossed out of the way. And Marty's not only safe, he's got a couple of ways of winning right now. Now, as great as that would be to show you, unfortunately, I could win here. So it wouldn't be a great move on Marty's part. What he's just going to do is slide another one of my tiles out of the way. And this causes a chain reaction as well. It has put two of my tiles quite nicely next to each other though. So he's got to watch out for that. But I have to do something about Marty now. I think I'm going to have to toss a tile out of the way because Marty had a couple of ways of winning there. We toss this tile over here. Maybe I'll be able to save myself later. And hey, maybe I could win. Now we do have a couple of more kinds of tiles. These push and pulls here still only move a tile in one direction, but they target a tile up to two spaces away. And this persuade tile would actually drag itself and one of my tiles away with it. But what's the best move for Marty here? Well, how about he does target one of mine two away, pushes it out of the way. He's got two ways of winning right there. And can I do something about it? It's actually three ways. No, no, that's no good, is it? Because he's leaving me a way to win. I could just pop one of mine in the middle there and I've won. Okay, think a bit harder. He was thinking, similar idea, pop this there, move this one out of the way, but they've just both moved so can react. This one would react and push this right back and I could win there. So that's no good. What if Marty persuades here? Persuades and pulls one of my tiles. Mine aren't reacting to his because it's not my turn. So now Marty's got his multiple paths to victory. 
can I do something about it? I think I'm going to have to use my switcheroo. Turn the flip. Is this going to work? Turn the flip. That goes over there. And I think I'm safe now. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think Marty will do his rephrase on the toss tile. Let's get this out of the way. And then he's back in his strong position and I don't have that toss tile anymore. Or the rephrase. I can target something two tiles away though and move it. Okay, so I blocked him there and this one's moved. Now I think Marty's just got to get in the way here, put himself into a better position. But if he pushes this away, I could just persuade, drag this tile down and then I'd have three in a row. So that's no good. Oh, but what about from this direction? That puts him in quite a nice position. Because yeah, he could win here, 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 here. This might be it. Oh no, that's no good. He just made me win. No, <laughs> that's no good at all. Okay, maybe just a simpler, just get this out of the way a little bit for now. Oh, but then he can do his persuade. No. Okay, maybe the decision tile then. The either or, you can move it diagonally that way. You would push all of the tiles diagonally that way as well. Or he could push it that way. He's kind of got two out of three now. We're running out of space. If the three by three grid fills up, whoever can't play the tile loses as well. So you don't want that to happen either. Oh, yeah. But the old persuade is still there. I can persuade and drag this tile back, pushing this one. And there we go, three in a row. Should we have another go? I'm going to have another go. Okay then, Marty first. I don't mind getting that tile out of the way a little bit. Marty just nudge mine out of the way. Early victory, surely. No, get back in the middle. Get rid of Marty's a bit. Oh, he does have two in a row now. Nudge one of mine out of the way there. I'll just push him out of the way a little bit from two away there. Marty will just do a basic, get that out of the way. I could get Marty out of the way quite nicely there, I think. Diagonally put him out. Oh, and, oh, but that does move him. Oh, no, that targets the one two away. So, no, that's not being targeted. Phew, thought a reaction was going to mess me up there. Oh, no, that's no good. Because that's that's making him win. No, don't do that. Let's, ju let's just flip him out of the way. Nope, similar situation. Could have put myself in that situation, aren't I? Okay, I am desperately trying to get in the middle, but... Uh... We'll just get rid of Marty for now, because I seem to keep messing myself up. I have got some ways I can win like this now, but I think Marty can stop me with a nice flip here. Can flip this tile. Oh, actually, even better. Face it this way. He can flip this tile into this tile, which moves it out of the way. This tile is now being targeted by this tile, and so pushes the whole stack this way. Oh, no, that's not great, because I can still win there. Oh, that's been so tactically lovely there. Oh, so many ways... He's caught out, going through all these different things. Oh, but wait a minute. I thought I'd caught him. He can just do the persuade, drag my tile out, push his tile, three in a row. Boom. Oh, the combos can really get you in a sticky situation, but sometimes it's a really simple thing uh, that he just overlooked. Okay then, best of three. Who's the real philosophizer here? There is also a respect token that you can hand over to your opponent when you think they've made a particularly good move. I think uh, I'd hand Marty that now. We'd actually also use it. Who is gonna start the final game? We've started one each. Uh, heads, tails. Heads, I will start then. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just pop that down there. Marty, try and get some control of the middle now and get rid of me. Get Marty out of the way there and get ready for a, a nice three. Yeah, just get in the middle, choose to move me, let's say that way. Hopefully, I persuade later and <laughs> doesn't catch him out there. I've got to stop him, but I think the easiest way to do that is uh, just move that one out of the way. Then if I do it up here, I've kind of got two for something maybe later. I think Marty will just get that one out of the way in case I try and persuade that way and complete the three. In fact, thinking of that, I'm gonna move Marty's down here out of the middle, out of harm's way, and then maybe I could persuade out this way. Actually, that wouldn't be a great idea, would it? Could he, cause Marty could just persuade out this way. Okay, we'll flip. I'm worried, let's flip it right out of the way. Just put it over there. Marty's gonna go back for the middle. He's gonna push my tile off. Now I do get that back. I can do something with that but it's also kind of out of danger for Marty. I think Marty's could get out of the way over there. Oh, I think Marty's flip might do a decent job over here. Now there's a couple of ways that he could win. There, 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 there. Oh, have I got the right piece? Yes, I think this, is this the one Marty gave me back? Look at this. We get a, a triple chain, I think. Push it this way. Now it's in range of this tile. Now it's in range of this tile. <gasps> An extra one. Oh no, that target's two away. Nearly. A ton of reactions there, and there's a easy way I could win there. So Marty's got to block that in some way. Ooh, I think maybe the rotator here could be quite nice. Rotate his flip. This gets flipped over, and he's back to being in a pretty strong position again. But all I've got to do really is get rid of the the middle tile. Without the middle tile, he can't really do anything. And actually, yeah, one of us always forgets about it. The persuade there, dragging it out, and 
One, two, three in a row. My points were a little bit more salient and Marty hands back the respect token. Most importantly, we've had a lovely chat, haven't we? So there is Philosophy. It is on GameFound right now. You can check the link in the description for the campaign page to see how you can make Philosophy happen, how to get hold of it, what all the final stuff will look like. It's such a beautiful system where just with the moving of the tiles, Thinking about how they work, how your opponent could use them, how they could use your move against them, or, you know, thinking steps ahead. All of that would have been great enough, but the layers and layers that can go on top of that, once the board state starts to change and starts to fill up a bit, you can try and see these chain reactions that emerge and how you can sometimes, with a, a simple just little push, you can end up moving a tile just completely to the other side of the board. You can be making these kind of suboptimal moves sometimes with the hope that you might be tricking your opponent into putting their piece exactly where you want them to. So you can, hey, as, as we did, get a, a sneaky persuade in and win out the day. I know some of this stuff like, I'll, you know, if you're if you're a big fan of abstract games, maybe you're thinking, he doesn't sound very experienced in abstract games. I'm not. I can't think of too many that I've got. The theme mainly, and also the beautiful art by Nathalie Dombois, I think are a great thing for drawing in. And then once you're in there, it is a lovely, tricky, tense, but also you know, kind of, you're not taking people's pieces and trying to eliminate them or anything like that. In fact, if you do manage to get other players' pieces off the board, it is probably going to help them, depending on which pieces they get back and when. But at the same time, if you just let things fill up and you can't play the tile, you lose. So that's another extra dimension to it. Yeah, hopefully you've seen from the playthrough, though, whether or not philosophy would be one for you. There are hundreds of playthroughs on this channel, including several, for Seize the Bean. Thank you very much for watching this one, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. <laughs>